The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Jackford. Morning. Got a loose shoe on the left forefoot. Nels will fix it up for you right away. Mr. Jackford, please, can I have a little more time on my note? Sorry, boy. I can't do it. I've just been plagued with bad luck, Mr. Jackford. I've been carrying you for three years. I'm through now. Yes, but I'll have to sell everything. Well, then I sell it and take your whip on somewhere else. I'll be happy to handle your investments, Mr. Manning, at any time. Thank you, Mr. Hanfordon. It's very kind of you, sir. Paul Jackford. Nobody steals from me or mine. And you're not the judge. I'll make a complaint or leave him alone. The law is the same for you as everybody else. I'll take my own out and skin if I have to. I figure he stole $2,000 from me. Bookkeeper, he called himself. Yeah, the best bookkeeper in the country. That you can't add ain't my fault. Numbers in a book don't mean nothing to old Jackford. Cash in the box, that's what counts. You buying friends with my money! <laughs> Well, it looks like oats full of beans today. Thanks to him, I gotta sell out. He never gave me a break. See, I've been having bad weather recently. We all get the same weather. It's not Jackford's fault you get wet out of a bottle. You just make the complaint, Asa. He's got no right to beat you. Go ahead. You swear out one, I'll swear out one. Manning, the next time I see you, I'm gonna get a rope around you and drag the hide right off your back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Last time you tried that, didn't work out so well for you, did it, Oates? Don't you ever get tired of throwing your weight around? Hold it, out. Out. Go home. Oat, you're going to get out of town and stay out of town until you're grown up and learn to behave like a grown man. You want me to act peaceable? You keep him out of my sight, and you keep McCain out of my hair. That old bear would rather fight than eat. You'll do no more fighting in this town. Well, that's all right with me, Micah. People just don't seem to gotten to Mr. Jackford, in spite of all his money. I gotta sell out, auction everything I got, just because of that man. I wouldn't worry about it. He ain't gonna be around much longer. I'm in North Fork. That's right. Coming in for the auction, eh? Oh, no, I have other business. Well, being the banker around here, I'm always interested in other business. Won't need a banker. You never can tell. Hamilton's my name, sir, in case you change your plans. My name is King, Mr. Banker. Tom King. I'll be staying here at the hotel. If I change my plans, I'll let you know. Micah! 
Micah! Take your time, John. Well, now I've got some news for you, Micah. Tom King just rode in. He's at the hotel. Says he has business here. Now, what are you going to do? Howdy, Hello. boys. Howdy, Lucas. Lucas. Mark. Well, maybe I better go and have a little talk with him. What if he hasn't got a warrant? Well, no offense meant, Micah, but you can't handle him alone. No offense taken, John. Who'd he be after, you know? I didn't ask. All right. What are you going to say to him? How do I know? A type of coffee, Micah? Tom King's in town. I thought I'd pay my respects. I'll come along with you. Oh, that won't be necessary. He's probably just riding through. Well, where is he? Madeira House. He's right here for me. Can I bid at the auction? It's your money. Come on, Micah. All right, now, friends and neighbors. You all know Mr. Sanderson's team of match bays. There they are standing over there in their stalls. A hundred dollars. All right, a hundred dollars I've got. Who'll give me a hundred and twenty-five? Thank you very much, sir. A hundred and twenty-five I've got. A hundred and fifty. A hundred and fifty once, a hundred and fifty twice, and sold to that man there for a hundred and fifty dollars. Tom King's in town. Lucas and Mike are going after him now. Who's he after? That's what they're going to find out. King picked a smart time to ride in. Everybody's in for the auction. A killer's luck. It never fails. All right, next item. Now, friends, I got an item here that'll make you men drool. I got a hand-rubbed saddle here that's just dying to be slapped on the back of your horse. How well do you know, King? Well enough. Any idea who he might be collecting on this time? Nope. Did he stop by, show you a warrant? Nope. Sir Lucas. Well, I guess this is Tom King. He'll kill you or your grandmother if someone will write a warrant and if the price is right. Morning. You got something for me to look at? No warrant. Everybody thinks you came to North Fork on a job. You did. Without a warrant? That's right, Marshal. I can't let anybody but an authorized law officer take a man in. I don't plan to take nobody in. You here to kill? Who? I asked you a question, Tom. I don't necessarily mean that I answer. I'm handling this, Lucas boy. I know how fast you are, King, and I know how you work. So let me tell you, you will provoke no gunfights here. I suppose somebody draws on me. Nobody's iron-headed enough to do that. I've got other information. I've been paid. Since when does the law hire killers? I work independent now. Slowing down, Tom? No, no complaints about my speed as yet, Lucas boy. No, I just find that working for those with a grudge pays better than doing a job some old marshal can't handle. You always were a dirty egg, sir. Lucas! Well, it'll be a reasonably fair fight, Marshal. Fair? Nobody in North Fork has a chance against you. Well, I don't know. Lucas here is pretty good. Being good's what we got paid for, remember? You rode with Tom King? Once, as a deputy. But he didn't seem to take to it. I tried to teach him. But old Luke just didn't understand that dead or alive meant dead to the law. Saves time and money. For a while there, it looked like him and me was gonna settle the matter. But I just don't work that way. Do I, Lucas Boy? No, you don't, King. You don't pull a trigger unless there's cash in the line. Five hundred dollars. Who is named this time? Oh, Jackford. Why don't you tell this old Jackford I'm looking for him? Oh, will you? It'll save me a ride. Jackford? Why him? Tell him, Lucas Boy. I think I'll have me a drink. Five hundred dollars from Asa Manny, Micah. Five hundred dollars, that's all it takes, and you can name your man. Well, he sure picked a winner in Oak Jackford. Yeah, couldn't happen to a better man. No, it couldn't. Well, there's no worry of ours. Jackford's a grown man. In spite of that, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to tell King to take his business elsewhere. Of course, Jackford doesn't have to draw. No, any more than he has to breathe. 
You know, Micah, King wouldn't have been so sure of himself if he hadn't heard about Jackford. You know, if Jackford or anybody else draws first, King's within the law. You know, Lucas, I figure this King's a practical man. If he sees he's not wanted in this town, I think he'll back off and leave. Come on, I want to talk to some people. Dr. King, what did he say? What's he doing in North Fork? He's got no warrant this time. He's hired out to kill a man. But I figure he can be chased if all you people will stand up with me and the man he's gunning for. We're all behind you, Micah. You bet you. Who's he after? Oh, Jackford. Or old Jackford. Listen, Micah. I wouldn't do anything. I'm standing here watching my whole life sold out from under me. Why? Jackford. Jackford's the one who froze me out. I'm telling you straight, I hate the man. I'm not looking for a hole in the chest for Oak Jackford and his San Saba Cattle Corporation. One guy I wouldn't do anything for. Jackford never did anything for me. Now, you're making the folks nervous. Come on, this is the day everybody gets something for nothing. How much of a bid for this beautiful brass bed? How much of a bid? Ten dollars by my dear friend, the brass. You never really thought they'd go for it, did you? No. Me, I'd rather have friends than money. I figure Ode will come in. I don't figure him to miss the auction. How much of my bid? Five dollars, thanks. Five dollars. Where are you going? I'm going to try something. Could you give me one reason why you should be the one to do anything for Ode Jackford? Well, let's say it's got nothing to do with Jackford one way or the other. Lucas, you're no curly bill. I've never known you to pick a fight. That's right, Micah, but you don't know Tom King. I do. You ever hate anybody, Micah? That man's everything I hate. You don't know what the word killer means until you've seen King in action. I've seen killers before. Listen, Micah. Murder rode into this town today. Filthy, stinking murder. They killed Jackford, and someday he'll be back uh, for you or Mark or... Why don't you think a little more about Mark? Let me worry about King. Yeah. Paul? What is it, son? You're not going to fight Tom King, are you? If I can help it, I'm just going to try and talk him out of making any trouble. And if he won't listen, what then? Jackford, but this is my town, Tom. I'm asking you to leave quietly. I've been waiting for you to come around and say something like that. I've been remembering you and that rifle. You always were like a mother hen taking other folks' woes to yourself. But not this time, Lucas Boy. You know, I've been remembering you too, Tom. When you were working for the law, you were a killer. Even the ones that walked in with their hands up, willing to face trial, got shot. Resisting arrest. Oh, I brought a few in. Some of them were acquitted and that only meant half money. 
If you're trying to tell me that I turned killer, you said it before and louder. I'm trying to tell you you're a grave robbing child killer. You'd cut your own mother's throat. Don't forget I'm ugly and I smell bad. Luke, I know what you're trying to do, but I'm not fighting you. I'm not looking for a fight, Tom. I'm just expressing a personal opinion. All settled? Almost. You go on back to the auction then, sir. I couldn't talk him out of it. Why don't you try and stop Jackwood from coming in? Talk him in there, going back to a spread to some of his boys. They'll stand up for him, even if the rest of the town won't. All right, I'll, I'll wait from outside town. But if you have any ideas, Mike, about straightening out King by yourself, forget him, huh? I already have, Lucas. You better get back inside and get warm. The scum of the earth. To the money they pay me. Marshal of North Fork, I'm giving you official notice to get out of town. I'll give you my official answer. I'm staying here until I'm ready to get out. I've committed no crime. If you don't go, I'm going to throw you in jail. That's your privilege. I'd like to know what the charges are. Disturbing the peace. I thought I was walking soft in your town. You're going to look pretty silly at the trial, Marshal, if there ever is one. All right. Let's go. I've got nothing but time. Stay out of town. Tom King's in the saloon waiting for you. Bonnie Hunter? Manny's paid him to kill you. Mike uh, wants you to keep out till things quiet down. If King's come to kill me, he's gonna get his chance. Oh. oh, will you at least go back and get some of your boys to help? You can't handle King alone. Can I? <laughs> Tom King? That's right, Mr. Jackford. He's Tom King. He's, uh, I thought I spoke to you about staying around. I'm visiting friends. One minute after I'm finished with your hired gun, you're gonna be as dead as old mutton. Any time, Mr. King. Hold up, Oat. I don't want you stepping in to hinder or to help. I'm beholden to no man. Jackford, will you listen? You people listen no Jackford. This coyote came looking for me. It's my fight. Now, for the last time, I'm telling you, keep your nose out of my business.
Turn loose your dogs. You'll do your killing out of town. All right. Let's take a walk, old man. Killing. I'm glad it's Mr. Jackford. Don't you ever be glad a man is going to die. Well, well, I'm not glad about Mr. Jackford. That way, I kind of like him. Oh. Just glad it ain't you. Jackford hadn't got a chance, and you know it. I don't know what you're talking about. Jackford, they tell me you, uh, you're a horse thief. That's a lie! They say you got the habit of juggling your own books. I'm gonna shove that right down your dirty suit. Come on, old man. Draw. You got a gun? Use it! You hear what I say? I said draw. You draw King and you'll hang for murder. Draw. Draw. You got a reputation, back it up. I wouldn't take that from a dog. Slowing down, Tom? You've cleared the field. It was lucky, Oat. He never ran into you before. Five hundred dollars, Mr. King. That's what I paid, and what did I get? You shut your mouth. I'm not putting a rope around my neck for you or anybody else. I'll get Jackford. You'll get your money's worth. No. I'll get my money back. Now. <laughs> There's no jury in the state that convict a man who shot Tom King. I'm famous. You're dead. Killing a man after he's been beaten senseless is murder. Even when the man was Tom King. You're gonna hang, Asa. Country's better off with him dead. You'll testify I was in self-defense, won't you? You'll testify for me, won't you? Get going. Come on. Marshal, I did you a favor. Move along. I'm glad Mr. Jackford's all right. Tom King couldn't kill him. Nobody can. Well, the only way old Jackford will die is in bed with 30 great-grandchildren standing around sucking their thumbs waiting to count his money. Come on. 